flower girl and readers. You have to slow it down. And the best man for presenting a smart and sober brain. Yeah. And I'd like to thank them for both of all their efforts, hard work and attention to That's detail good. in making today such a tremendous success. Veronica and I would like to thank you all for coming here today to celebrate the marriage of Maria and Gallo. It's good to see so many family and friends and we appreciate some have travelled some distance to be here, especially family and friends from Wales and as, as far as Boston, USA. <laughs> Testing. Hey, Papa, do you think she's my baby? Yeah. Can you hear me? Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Buon pomeriggio, signore, signore, e benvenuti. And for our Welsh friends, I hope I get this right, Merced Agans, Pinhaun da Atroeso. Is that right? Obviously, people that don't know me, my name's Vito, and I am father of the bride, a beautiful bride. <laughs> Guys and gals, I am very nervous, and I do have some shots here ready, just in case. I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. Here present to witness. Here present to witness. That I. That I, Gareth Lee Bolton. Do take thee. Do take thee, Maria Grazia Zarola. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. I'd like to applaud Gareth on his appearance today. He looked wonderful in his wedding suit. God knows after the meant suit fittings we had, he ought to look good. Um, I know he's worked hard to stay in shape for the day. And yet, yes, Rowdy is a shape. For those who know me, my name is Luke. For those who don't know me, my name is still Luke. <laughs> Gareth as a kid always wanted what I had. We shared a room and I always called him playing with my Lego, which normally meant he was breaking my Lego. Um, but he soon lost interest when our sister Claire was born um, and he discovered a new affection for her dolls. But the wars we had in our house between Gareth and Claire, because Gareth wasn't, clear, wasn't letting Claire play with the dolls. Um, it's, it did soon stop though, um, Gareth had to start revising for his GCSEs. <laughs> Gareth has a weird way of identifying things. I was hoovering one day, Gareth's in the bathroom. <laughs> I venture in the bathroom to find Gareth a little piece-sized object in his hand, asking me, what is this? Before I can actually answer the question, Gareth puts it up under his nose, smelt it, then ate it. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Gar ate poo. <laughs> so sorry, sorry. What a kiss, I do apologise. Yeah, but the date's wrong, so I don't understand that. 16th of July, his birthday. 
That's just classic Gareth. Oh <laughs> my god! He's put the wrong date oh, on it. But that's fine. <laughs> Obviously, his birthday's more important. <laughs> Well, if that's the only thing that goes wrong yeah, today, that's fine. absolutely oh, fine. So I'm going to give you an example. Recently, and unbeknown to me, Maria has been discussing her wedding shoes with her beautiful mum, my wife Veronica. Maria wanted a particular design, a brand called Jimmy Choo. I thought, Jimmy Choo? Jimmy Choo? Who the hell is Jimmy Choo? You know? Veronica, being the budget conscious woman that she is, Watch out, little on Italian week. <laughs> yeah. and, and lean, I suppose, yeah. She, she wasn't too receptive about Maria's choice of footwear due to the cost. Maria's always decided to seek a second opinion with her dad and asked me, Dad, would it be okay with you if I bought Jimmy Choo shoes for my wedding? Now, I didn't want to sound thick, so I thought, I thought, my Jimmy Choo? Jimmy Choo, the bloody hell's Jimmy Choo, you know. <laughs> However, I didn't ask any questions and went along with Maria's wishes and offered to pay 50% of the cost. <laughs> I see you women, but yeah. You women know out there, don't you? It says blokes study, I think, and we ain't got a clue, no. I gave Maria the go ahead to buy the shoes. Veronica then found out and gave me the look. <laughs> which all married men know what that is. So I said to her, a promise is a promise, Veronica. So a second mortgage and a thick year later, <laughs> Maria's proudly wearing those shoes today. So I will take care of Maria. I hope that I could be everything you want from a sunny low and more. Gareth comes from a very loving and respectable Welsh family, and you have integrated easily to the traditions of Italian family values. You just get it, Gareth. We know. And you love your food as well. <laughs> Maria, it's been a great honour and pleasure walking you down the aisle. It's one of my proudest moments and I will treasure the memory forever. Fathers are naturally biased about their daughters, but I'm sure you will agree with Maria. You look absolutely stunning today. Maria, I give you this ring. Maria, I give you this ring. It's a sign of our marriage. Of a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I give you this ring. 
Now, if I give you this ring... As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I think we ought to give them a round of applause. Yeah. My brother is loyal and caring, and her family is Mancha Maria. She is, without doubt, the most loving, giving, honest and beautiful woman you could possibly hope to end up with. And I know that you're probably waiting for a pun sign after that, but there genuinely isn't one. Finally, we come to my beautiful wife. Uh, Maria, you look absolutely stunning today, and for once we can actually agree that I'm definitely punching. Uh, it is in contention some days. Uh, if I'd known by marrying you, I would have got a life coach and a bank manager rolled into one. I would have done this years ago. All jokes aside, the day I feel I've made a life commitment to my best friend and promise that I will spend the rest of my life trying to make you as happy as you make me. Uh, everything you're into you see has been orchestrated by Maria and even though her attention to detail drove me up the wall in the last 18 months, I'm sure you'll agree that it's absolutely amazing. Thank you. Maria, you are everything I wanted and everything I need and I love you unconditionally, so please can I ask you to be outstanding again and raise your glasses to the new Mrs. Bolton. Yeah.